Alright, hey, hi, hello, how's it going guys? My name is Zeta Rizan, and welcome back to more To Hell With The Ugly. Now, before I begin, be sure to like, subscribe, and get the bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. So, last we left off, we just started off the game, basically you play as this blonde, haired, handsome looking fella named Rocky. Um, and I'm not sure what's going on, but I think the premise is kind of like, he's trying to save himself until he's 20, um, but... After we left the club that we were at last night, um, I think we got drugged and then we got taken somewhere. And then I think we were supposed to sleep with, with someone, I'm not sure. Um, but we managed to get out and we got beaten up by a couple of, I wouldn't say doctors, but it was some dudes in lab coats. And we woke up in this guy's taxi. So we're gonna go look for our friends now and tell them what happened, I guess. Got my number, feel free to use it. All right. Hello. Hi, how about a hot dog? I'm so hungry. Can't kidnap hungry work. What's that, son? Nothing. Just talking to myself. Right, but I'm kind of broke. Maybe I'll come back later. Sure, whatever. Okay, no money, no money. And... Orange shop. Hello. Oranges. I guess we can talk to her. Hey, dreamboat. Dollar glass. Want some? Love to see you ask, but I'm broke. You don't look so good. Rough night? I could say that. I'm trying to put the pieces together and I sure could use some vitamins. Hmm. See the newspaper seller over there? That dirty old man's always bugging me when I get my paper from him. I'm not in the mood for his ogling today. You rust me up the paper, I'll rust you up a drink. Got his eel. Thanks, handsome. Light red apples? Want one? No thanks. My last cigarette took me to some strange world. Oh yeah, it did. Because we took a drag from that one guy, that's why we got drugged. Uh, newspaper guy, right. Clark, finally, friendly face. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Rock. There you are. Finished last night. Me and the others will be wondering if... Hey, you're covered in bruises. Covered, let's not exaggerate. Nothing can cover this charisma. What happened to you? I thought you'd finally fall for someone, but... Well, a load of bunk. Of course not, I was kidnapped. What? I'm not deaf yet, Clark. I went outside for a breath of fresh air after my little talk of Sunday love. Next thing I remember is accepting the worst cigarette of my life. I'm waking up completely naked in a very strange hospital room. Uh, hospital room? Rock, buddy, what kind of night were you, have you been having? I'll keep that to myself. The important thing is, it's over. But now it's fine the low life you drug me. Did you see a tough guy, kind of big but wiry, hanging around the club last night? Huh. It's pretty busy last night, Rocky. I gotta say, that description could bring a lot of zooty slammer customers to mind. It's true, he was pretty around the mill. Just my luck. Anyway, where are the others? The gang? Still the Zooty Slammer. Perfect, maybe they saw something you missed. Because you were too busy checking out some skirt. Come on, Rock, that's not my style. Um, why are you? Why are you hanging out outside, by the way? I was getting tired. None of the girls really want my company anyway. Come on, Clark, a nice boy like you? What's the problem, Rock? I've got nothing but nice to offer. Can you tell me more about last night the Zooty Slammer? Good old Lem Hamilton played all night long. It was electric. When I think he used to be in Letterbird's orchestra, we're lucky he decided to open his own club, huh, Rock? Yeah, we've had some mighty fine times at the Slammer. And Lem knows a great crowd. Dumb am I. You should go talk to him, don't you think? He knows the customers better than the boss. Probably right, Rock, but you know, it's been hours since the bouncer got orders not to let anyone else in. You'll have to wait. Or try to convince him to let you in, but I wouldn't bet on that. Think my natural charm? Don't you think my natural charm be enough? I'd certainly advise you, you to use all your charm, especially considering the guy often has a bad case of the munchies. Got it. Full rock. I gotta. I'm gonna leave you. I gotta get some sleep. Look at your investigation. Thanks, buddy. Okay, he's gone. Dirty diner. It's not like me, but I could really starve for burger right now. Too bad they're closed. All right, pal. Good news. Another missing person. How many does that make? Fifth since the beginning of summer. Any witnesses? Hey kid, if you want to know, buy the paper. Uh, I'll take a paper. Quite copy, please. 20 cents. And his card. I've got nothing. Gee, I'm a little short. No money, no news. Maybe we can do some shoe shine. Hurry up, kid. I got a meeting in 15 minutes. Right away, sir. Another missing person. Governor Kinger Kingerly's. Gonna, gonna have to explain himself. What was that, sir? Nothing, nothing. Buff. Buffing, sir. 
Zodi Slammer. Yeah. Hi. Uh, I was here last night. Can, can you let me in and join my friends? It's seven again. I know, but there's still people in there. Maybe I can go inside fish night with them. I don't like repeating myself. Scram. No, wait, wait. Maybe I can do you a favor and you can let me in. How's that sound? What favor? You tell me. Oh no, kid. You're the one who wants to go in. You're gonna have to sweat a little for me to agree. And I'm not in a good mood, so watch out if I'm not happy. Munchies. Oh, I'm sure a little snack after hard night's work will do you good. Now you're talking. Instead, I can fix my throat. I'll get you something right away. Okay. So the lady wants me to get her a paper. Oh. Do you got money I could borrow back? You need my service already? No big deal. I'm just looking for some change so I can get the orange, orange cell of the newspaper. Maybe try flowers instead. If that, was, if that was it, I'd do things differently. I'm just helping her out. Usually I bought it myself, but last night's left me kind of short, you could say. I see. I've got a few coins here. That should be enough. Help yourself. I guess I owe you another one. My pleasure, Rock. I've got money. I've got some coins. All right, enough to buy a newspaper. Right. Newspaper away. Oranges, a dollar a kilo. All right, give me a minute. We'll get the newspaper. All right, just newspaper. I'll take a paper. One copy, please. Twenty cents. Coins. Give me just cash. Great. Now get lost. You're blocking out the sun. <laughs> People tell me that a lot. Oh, Rock. Still haven't changed. Here's your paper. Still want the newspaper? Sure, handsome. Here. It's news, fresh off the press. Here, sweetheart. Here, have a little pick-me-up. You come back and see me anytime. Newspaper. Are you, fan of the Zo Are you a fan of the Zooty Slammer? Too much so. It cost me a few jobs. This one's the worst of all, seeing as we're right next door. Eh, I understand. It's tough life. Okay. I've got the OJ, but now what? Do you wanna do you wanna drink? How about a hot dog? For the zoo? Oh, it's going back to senses. Come come again, old timer. He's been turning his nose up at my lovely hot dogs for a while. Told me he found a new way to eat. What a crock. Hey, I'm so made up you can have it for free. Only well, only one, I guess. Oh nice, that was easy. What's the OJ for? Oh hey pal. You want me to shine your shoes? I'm good, thanks. I got things to do. Okay. Here's your hot dog, pal. Hot dog. Here you go. Nice sizzling hot dog for you. you kidding me? Exhaust? You're a funny guy, aren't you? I don't need that crap anymore. Old Joe hasn't understood that the world's moved on. People are careful what they eat nowadays. You want beautiful bodies and good health. Look at that. Look at the darling. I think I all figured out. Wait, what? The diner? The greasy spoon? I seriously believe that's better than this good old hot dog right here. I guess you really don't really want to go inside then. Oh, I do, I do. Fine, I'll bring something else. As healthy as a good burger. Huh. My patience is wearing thin. You me both, pal. Darling Diner. So, sir's an aficionado of the darling. Too bad they're not open for a few more hours, but maybe I'll get some inspiration from the storefront. Hello? Their storefront. Hey kid, you know the bouncer to Zoo Slammer? Little. Shiny shoes from time to time. Does he talk to you? Yes, sir. Tell me rub harder. Geez, so you don't know anything about his life. No, sir, but maybe old Joe. Or a new girl, the orange shirt can help you. I'd assume you're old Joe. Oh. Ah. Me again. Do you know the Zooty's bouncer by any chance? Kind of. We bump into each other when he's laying me in. Or when he's hanging around chatting to the hot dog guy nearby. You don't happen to know what he might like to eat. Apparently hot dogs don't float his boat anymore. But yeah, he wants to take he wants to take better care of himself or something. He hangs out the darling though. Fortunately the darling's closed, but I still need to get into the zoo to slam it. I don't reckon it's a lost class, handsome. It's a pretty easy to fool if you ask me. It's kinda of gullible in fact. The guy's a total sap. You think? He always let me through because he believes that when I say I sing the rockets. But he drops in here every morning to say hi. Oh uh, yeah, I see. Thanks for your help. It was a pleasure. Basically, if I lie to him, and I tell him the hot dog, hot dogs from uh, Darling, he might let me in, actually. 
let's see. How is this burger better than a hot dog? They do have OJ. Maybe I give him OJ. So with my breakfast, uh, here's orange juice. What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, not bad. I told you don't want it. Wait, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Hot dog. Don't want it. Uh. Okay, you know what? You gotta. Aha! Craft it together. Nope. Not to do anything. Huh. What do I do? Wait, let's look at our logs. Not this one. Uh, goals. Go back to my party. Car goal. Bring Bronson's improved snack. It makes me think I gotta craft some of them. Uh. Maybe just add some green to sentry and he thinks it's a bomb. It's not the Bryce Bark after all. Okay, just need to find some greens and we're good. Can I pick some, some greens, huh? Can I just take it from the like these bushes? Or do you know uh, do you find a chance? Oh uh, no. Guy need no. Can I cross the street? I can't. Oh, there's a rat. Look at that big boy. Look at him go. Meow. I'm still faster than the rat, though. Maybe we can grab some greens from here. Nope. Or maybe here. Grab some greens. I gotta make it look green. How do I make it green? I don't have anything green. Uh, hey, can I maybe have a few of these leaves? Leaves? Take what you want, they just leave a big mess in the end of the day. Plus I got, the happier I am. Alright, there you go. Gotcha. Sometimes following quests will require you to combine two objects. Alright. I got it. Healthy hot dog! <laughs> Very healthy hot dog, at least as far as the bounce is concerned. Nice. This is my breakfast here. Ah, now here's a good healthy meal. Look at all that green. I feel pumped up just looking at it. How is it? Well, this is really good. Where'd you get this sandwich? It's a new place. Not very well known yet. But they say it's already a favorite of the lady singer from the Rockets band. That doesn't surprise me. She looks like a woman of a taste. You've earned your admission. I'm letting you in. Don't forget, boy. Sal's the future. Seems like there's still plenty of folks here. Parties at, at Lem's never stop. Hope there's somebody here their mind's still clear enough to remember my man. I'm getting the hell out of that club. 7 a.m. There's not a decent bottle left. You was, I think, you know, it was a respectable joint, but... Oh. Hey, what are you looking at? Me? Lush of bad taste, I guess. Think you're smart, huh? Get out of my way, Lou. Oh, my. God. Oh, I missed. Oh! Double punch it. Ow. Ow. That was quite a sock. Benny's never alone. Jackie, give me a hand here. Sure, Benny. Oh, damn. This complicates things. Not enough to crush Rock Bailey. Come on, bring it up. Before joining the party, can I hit an opponent looking at the backlight, but then move closer once you dull the board in front? Yeah, I need to get that before then. Oh shit! Oh dude, that guy's fast! Shit! <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, kick him. There you go. Benny's down. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, Benny! Hang in there, pal! Ha, <laughs> he had it coming to him. I'm gonna see what happens when you mess with Jackie. You don't hide behind your friend, suits me. <laughs> Woohoo! Fast! Double punch with it. Oosh. 
Kick him! Kick him into the nuts! Whoa, yeah, there you go. That's how you win a fight. Thanks for your help. What goes on outside the club isn't my business. I guess. Whatever, I wasted too much time already. <gasps> what? Oh, Sunday's voice. Run! <laughs> Look! The logical choice when you hear someone screaming is you freaking run, right? You're like, ah, not my monkey, not my circus. Instead, you go towards it, you dummy. She's dead. Sunday, the scream, was that you? Oh, Rock, it's horrible. Skin, his face. In the phone booth, Gary will explain. Phone booth? I'm on it. Hey, man. I thought what goes on in the club is your business. You're just eating your stupid hot dog. Hey, guys. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh my god, Brock, you hear your last? I've been so scared. What could have happened while I was gone? Hey, Rock, oh boy. This party won't forget anytime soon. What's going on, Douglas? Sunny looks pretty shaken up. 100 pictures are worth a thousand words, or whatever it is people say there. I mean, go see for yourself. You'll catch on fast enough. Hey, man. Okay, I guess we're gonna talk here. Sure as that, I don't feel like dancing anymore. Dear Lord, that poor girl must have had the shock of her life. I swear they told me. Croaked in the booth. It's really not good at all. Who are you? I hope the club will get past this. Gary, so you can explain to me what's happening. I'm sure to choose your moment to show up. What moment's that then? Just found a dead man in the phone booth. Dead? Like I said, dead. Stiff. Leaving fit feet first. That's all I needed to polish on my evening. Do we know how he died? I doubt it was old age, but the cops aren't in their way. No doubt they'll have some ideas about it. And the guy, who is he? We don't know. No one around here seems to have been with him. Hmm, seems like too big a coincidence. You know something, Rock? Does that have anything to do with your vanishing act or... A beautiful shiner you got? I can't be sure. I'd like to know more before I say anything. Gee, this looks like the perfect story for the call. Young Rock, we're gonna play detective. Oh. This is just we take advantage of the time about the police to make our own investigation. Lieutenant Tafato is a friend, but he can be a stickler for procedure. He won't let us snoop around. How do you want to do this, Gary? You seem to know a lot more about snooping than I do. It's not rocket science. Let's question the witnesses, examine the booth. Should be able to find some clues. Let's take stock together once you make the rounds. Nights at the zoo do start like they used to be. <gasps> He's dead! Good lord. Alright, let's look at that. The telephone's off the hook. There's no one on the other end. But probably there was someone at the moment he died. It's pretty if you can't find out who was on the other end of the line. This is dude. Oh, wall on the floor. Wolf, we're counting on you. Take care of this business and come back fast. Wolf. That name rings a bell. Of course. That guy's Wolf Petrosian. Huh? Am I supposed to know who that is? Oh, if you made the effort to read the paper from time to time, you'd know yes. Bottom line, he is, or at least he was, one of the biggest dope dealers in the coast. He's one of the only guys I know who's gone as far as using Convent for his business dealings. Convent? How? Under the pretext of making a cartoon about the life of St. Martin, he used the nuns as go-betweens. Free of charge, naturally. Man of vision. A wanted man above all. The Fado has been on his case for weeks. He's gonna be delighted. Delighted to find stiff. Some people the strangest lives. Target five witnesses to find three clues. His face. I can understand Sunday's shock better now. The guy's not very pretty. Staring eyes. Foam the corner of his mouth. One of the best clues to tell us what happened to him. Poisoned. There's no blood in his clothes. Apart from a few details, his clothes are in perfect con condition. I doubt he exchanged blows with anyone during the evening. It's poison, you fools. I think you find one more clue. His pockets are empty. Doesn't look like he's got anything at all on him. Right? Didn't you see anything from where you were? Me behind my drum kit, with Lem's piano right in front of me. You're new to the job, right? Okay, pal, gee. Tell me, did you see the victim during the evening? K 
kid, I don't even know why I'm gonna go home. I'm just, just good. I'd rather say none because everything that comes out is gonna be bull crap. At least that's clear. Well, and I'm pretty sure that you noticed the poor man who you need me. You're right, Rock. I saw him wandering around the club before they found him. My lord, I can hardly believe it. A deaf Rock. A Zooty Slammer. Our Zooty Slammer. Let's hope it doesn't turn into a ha habit. Did you notice anything special about him? He seemed kind of lost. Probably his first time here, but that's just a feeling. He looked like he was waiting to meet someone. So I'm sitting at the table a little later with another guy. The other man, was he by any chance a burly guy in a tan suit? Exactly. Have you started crowd watching too now? The guy who drugged me met the stiff. Can't be a coincidence. It's a victim who I really know is because he seems so tense. He's trying his best to cover it up, but it's not so easy to fool me. Perhaps he was worried about his beating. Nothing else? Not especially. Had a drink together, then the other man left a bit later. As for the victim, I didn't see him again until Miss Love. Golly, what a crazy story. If the guy with the crummy smokes is linked to all this, she's got no idea how much. Thanks for your help, Linda. Learned a lot, thanks to you. It's always a pleasure, honey. Alright, how about you? Sorry to ask, but did you see that man during the evening? Sure, I mean, so I'm going to the phone booth. Wait. Really? Just wanted to call a friend so she could come get me, but he got in front of me. I said to myself, it's fine, Gloria. You're not in a rush, you can wait. Especially as he seemed in an awful hurry. Anyway, I waited a long time. When she saw me still waiting, Miss Love intervened. She was trying to be kind and get him out, of, out for me. Then she found he bought the farm. Did you manage to hear who he was calling? Or what he was saying? Hey, it's the Zooty Slammer. If the noise at the party is covering up what your neighbor's saying, then you're in the wrong place. You're not wrong. Beryl, did you know- Rock, where have you been? That's a long story, Beryl. Let's leave for now. Tell me about the guy- the dead guy. In the phone booth? Do you have any, something to do with this? No. I'm just trying to get some info. I could have been you in the booth, Rock. Hey, but I was even... I think we could have lost you, Rock. I, I think I'll just slip away. Mona, can I count on you? I'm all yours, Rock. Is there anything odd this evening? I'm sorry you're gone. thought you left without saying goodbye, but I doubt it's got anything to do with... Hmm. I don't know that I'm as sure as she is. Are you okay with you, Douglas? Not too shook up? Hey, Rock, what are you taking me for? It's more than that to throw me off balance. Maybe figuring the art world's less violent. Doesn't seem to me like you're falling over the corpses every week. I'm talking about less figurative violence, Rock. More lyrical. More diffuse. Violence that touches your soul before your flesh and... Anyway, did you notice anything in particular this evening? I noticed that you disappeared Sunday at one point. I was talking about the man found in the booth. Oh, well, no then. How are you? A healthy sandwich. Sunday, it was you who found the body, right? Can you tell me about it? Oh, yeah, sure. It's not much to tell, though. I just want to hurry him a bit so he'd free up the booth. He wasn't making any noise that I thought made me fall asleep, so I went in. When I opened the door, he was already... He was already dead. Did you notice anything could have been used as a weapon? No, but I didn't touch anything, of course. If a weapon was used, it's still in the booth. But Rock, do you think he was murdered? Only thing I think is that it's been a very strange night. Hmm, I'm intrigued. You'll have to tell me some, sometime, sometime what happened to you, too. Whenever you like, as long as it's after I turn 20. Not that story again. I'll bet we'll see each other again a lot sooner than that. How old are you? Amateur sleuth at the Zooty Slammer. It's time to wrap things up. He's, he's poisoned. Well, that was instructive. I want to stick my bow tie in it, but it seems pretty clear it's poison. Yeah, how can you be so sure? Come on, Rock, stray your brain a little. I'm sure you can reach that conclusion all by yourself. What suggests that Petrosian could have been poisoned? He was found with... Some kind of... Foam... At the corners of his mouth. There you go. You really didn't look too healthy. But it's true that the foam makes you think you swallowed something that wasn't good for him. And having tested them all, it's not the cocktail surfy that would have that that would that would have that effect. Oh, we're doing all of it. He was seen. Wait, there wasn't any on the floor. We found a strange message in the phone book.
he was seen having a drink during the evening, was he? We know he had a drink with the mysterious man. Drink. A drink. It's the ideal place to put poison. Exactly. If I had to murder someone in the bar, that's definitely the option I choose. Hypothetically, of course. There wasn't any blood in the phone booth. No blood, no sign of struggle. It's hard to imagine he died from a frontal attack. And considering his age and profession, I doubt there was natural causes. And on the floor, we found a strange message in his wallet. The note he was carrying suggests he was here for a job. Interesting note, don't you think? This business to take care of doesn't sound like something innocent. Looks like trouble, I get it, I agree. Our theory seems pretty solid to me. Just have to see if the, corp if the corpse and the cops agree. Let them have the pleasure of managing the paperwork, though. Oh, yeah. Whoa, what was that? Police, nobody move! He's still in his casual clothes. I mean, okay, you can't move. Just don't leave the corpse, please. Lieutenant DeFato, thanks for coming so fast. Nice coat you got there, Nick. Just give me a Joseph Taylor. I'll kill you. Wait for something for your rag? Trust me, you're gonna like the news I got for you. You know something about the victim? It's all Petrosian. What? Holy crap. Let's not waste time. Everybody get to work. Let's go. Well, DeFato doesn't hang about. He's got a tough life, especially at the moment. He's a good cop. He's got sloppy in the job for all that. Hey, in case you didn't expect to be in the police that tends to get books, Gary. You have to have a few contacts to make the stories worth telling. Speaking of which... Uh-huh, I might tell you what happened to me is it gonna end up in your paper. I think it's a good story. Well, I don't know. But I'll bet it's gonna amaze you. Let's not talk here. I'd rather avoid curious ears. In the Arctic? No, we're not allowed to go outside. So, if I followed well... You chat of a guy in a beige suit who gave you a cigarette of interesting taste and effects. You've woken up in a strange place where a beauty wants you to do something, which you refuse. You try to run away, but some guys in scrubs seem to have a plan for you and you, uh... Let's just say they stole from me in a very special way. Right. And so you're released and brought back to town by a passing cab driver. Only to learn that here we have a dead man on our hands. A dead guy who's none other than Petrosian, who was seen having a drink with your cigarette guy. So, good enough for the call, my story? I'm kidding, it's Diamond. Kidnapping and a murder in the same evening? Wolf Petrosian, that mysterious woman? We doubt we're on a big hit. In fact, if my little mishap could not make the front page... Don't worry, Rocky. I'll change the names. In any case, if these two cases are not linked, it's really quite a coincidence. That's what I think, too. And in the end, I'd like them to be. Why that? Give me some more strength to pull the son of a bitch who drugged me. Oh, going on a vendetta. I'm in. It smells like a great article. I'd be fool to pass this up. In this case, it is decided we're going to find this guy's cigarettes and find out what's going on down there. Between us, we're bound to get them. The right motivation. For now, I suggest you go back inside just to see what Defado has to say. Right behind you. Right. I think we're done here. You have a comment for the call, Nick? You know I can't. But yes, it's Petrosian, all right. And I mean, it was poison, that's certain. Huh. Exactly as we thought. Sticking your nose into our business again, huh? I promise you, I was just here as a customer last night. Huh. Do me a favor and wait for the official report before you write your baloney all the same. Oh, if, if I wanted to write baloney, I would have talked to your man. <laughs> Keep being cute and he'll be chasing after your news from my office. Sure. Drop by and get your statement later today, okay? Very catastrophe, Killian, but hey. You know where the house is, Jenny will let you in like usual. On that note, thank you all for your cooperation, but duty calls. I'd find the time to change, though. Catastrophe, Killian. A catastrophe. Oh. Okay, and I guess now it's a good time to leave this episode off here. In the next episode, we'll continue on and see what the connection is. I mean, it's a game. Of course, there's going to be a uh, connection for sure, but we'll see what it is. So for now, if you like what you see and you like what you hear, be sure to like, subscribe, and get the bell on so you stay up to date on all my latest videos. As always, be safe, take care. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace!